Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and this is the first of the uh, sneak peeks I'm doing on the channel. Uh, we've already had some information come out about, about the October update, and I'm just going to kind of spread that out over the next few videos. Sometimes, I mean, I think for the last sneak peek, which was kind of a smaller update, sometimes I don't even do sneak peeks just because other channels cover them so much. But this one is going to be a huge update. Um, it's going to have a lot of new stuff in it, a lot of changes to stuff that's already in the game. And because of that, I want to make sure that I can... Uh, that I, I give my perspective on it because sometimes people like hearing what I have to say. And also, I you know usually just talk about the effects it'll have on war. We might talk a little bit about like farming if just because some things are almost exclusively applied to farming. But uh, I'm just going to go through it. We're going to talk about how it's going to affect war mainly and kind of my thoughts beyond that, whether or not I like what's going on and that kind of stuff. So today in this video, we're focusing on the defensive changes that have been released so far. Um, there's usually other stuff beyond what or in the sneak peeks, so we might see some other changes, but this is what Supercell has released um, at the point of time in time I'm making this video. Be sure to check out my other videos, which will come out soon on different parts of the update. But let's just go through, and I guess we'll start with the first one I had written down here, which is gonna be some Town Hall 11 changes. They're adding Expo Level 5. And I think that at Town Hall 11, at, at this point in the game, Supercell kind of has to commit on it. Because it's been, it's been, you know, we saw Mass Witches when it first came out. We've seen, uh, we've seen a lot of different stuff at Town Hall 11. Now Witches are kind of nerfed, and we don't see many 3 stars. But uh, especially with the healer nerf that kind of came out, you can't quite do a healer warden charge as reliably, which was starting to become something before the healers were nerfed. So I think Supercell has to commit to a certain extent um, at Town Hall 11, whether or not they want it to be a three-star Town Hall or a two-star Town Hall. And I think from some of the some of the defensive uh, uh, buffs, there's the word, some of the defensive buffs, uh, it, it might be looking like they're going to, to try to make it, okay, it's a two-star game and the Town Hall 11 attacks can be used for dip attacks, um, it, which is nothing that wrong with it. It might not be as fun for Town Hall 11s because they'll be doing most of their attacks uh, dipping down on Town Hall 10s in war. But that's kind of the, what I've seen. It seems like every time they add some new stuff to make Town Hall 11 troops more powerful, there's also stuff that also uh, nerfs or buffs some of the defenses and makes it harder to three-star the bases. Now, I'll talk in the next video. We've, we're, we've seen some stuff already come out about the offensive uh, buffs at Town Hall 11, but the Expo is definitely going to uh, make any type of Queen Walk harder. It's just going to add more damage, and the Expos, you know, you have four of them at Town Hall 11, so this is a lot more damage that's going to be coming, and the Expos fire very efficiently. They move from troop to troop very quickly, so it should be interesting to see how they affect the game, but I, I think we can safely say that it'll definitely give a... A noticeable uh, buff to the Town Hall 11 defenses. And then uh, while we're on Town Hall 11, another thing is going to be the additional wall pieces, uh, 25 of them to be exact, at Town Hall 11. So that should, I guess, make certain attacks a little bit harder. I mean, miners obviously don't have any problems with walls, but for any kind of kill squad or any ground attack, uh, besides miners or hogs, really, and we don't see hogs at all pretty much at Town Hall 11, so most ground attacks are going to feel that, especially when you're sending in a kill squad, you might have to invest more in a jump spell uh, or something like that to move your troops through the base when there's more uh, smaller compartments. So yeah, that's what we're seeing at Town Hall 11. Uh, and actually, one more thing before I skip that, uh, the Mortar level 10 at Town Hall 11. Now, the Mortar is being buffed for Town Hall levels, uh, what is that, 8 through 9, but at Town Hall 11, we're seeing a whole new level of Mortar. I think that's good. I think the buff at all, uh, all Town Hall levels, uh, 8 and... Or, uh, buff at Town Hall levels 8 and 9 was needed. Um, I guess Town Hall 10 is not buffed, but um, for, especially for the lower levels, you'd see people put their mortars on the outside of the base, like at Town Hall 9. Really not an effective uh, defense, really. And I think that, you know, every defense should have some, you know, value to it. And when you see people kind of just kind of disregarding their mortars, not really using them, I think it shows they need some kind of buff. They actually, mortars are weird because they're powerful when you're like a Town Hall 4, and like you get that so you can take out archers and goblins and stuff. Um, 
at least when I was at Town Hall 4, like years ago. But uh, now that we're so high level, all the bases um, have much more powerful defenses. Mortars have kind of become not very important. So I think this is a good uh, change that we're seeing. And I think the mortar level 10 at Town Hall 11 should be interesting to help kind of nerf some of the spam attacks because really the uh, the splash damage, the wizard towers, which I think got a buff a little while back, and now the mortars, they're going to help kind of keep the mass miner, I guess mass bowler to a certain extent, uh, in check at, at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, which is good to see. We don't want to see those kind of mass attacks become too powerful. Um, although I'm not, you know, a huge fan of no mass attacks or anything. I think they do have a place to a certain extent, but I'm happy to see the mortar changes. Uh, let's keep moving. We have, uh, what else do we have here? I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, hidden Tesla that's coming to Town Hall 11, another Town Hall 11 change. I think Supercell is definitely um, you know, committed to, to making some significant t changes to the game at Town Hall 11, which I think Town Hall 11s won't complain about because right now, as I've kind of said, most of what they're doing in war is three-starring the Town Hall 10s. We're not seeing much Town Hall 11 be Town Hall 11 action, so it will be interesting. I'll talk about this more in my next video, whether or not... Uh, Town Hall 11s have more of a chance of getting the three star or less of a chance because we're seeing buffs to both to both offense and defense. But specifically the Tesla, that's a lot of damage. The Tesla already does quite a bit of damage and it fires so fast. Um, that's going to be something that's going to probably, in addition to the Expos, uh, make it much more difficult to three star a Town Hall 11 base. But it also no, no longer does the times two damage to P.E.K.K.A.s, which I'm very happy about. I think that P.E.K.K.A.s kind of have lost their place Town Hall 9, we see them a little bit, but Town Hall 10 and 11, we don't. I think uh, it's good to see all the troops at the high level in war. That just shows how balanced the game can be. And I think we should see some P.E.K.K.A. combinations come back. Now that the Teslas, even though they are buffed, they don't do the times 2 damage, which, which was pretty crippling to any kind of P.E.K.K.A. attack. And they don't target P.E.K.K.A. specifically. They target any troop now, uh, just like any other defensive building, really. So yeah, that's what we're seeing at Town Hall 11. A uh, lot of stuff there. Not a whole lot for Town Halls uh, 9 and 10, really, although we are seeing the uh, change to the mortar, which, um, you know, it's going to not be a huge thing, probably, but it should be something. And I'm, I'm happy about that at Town Hall 9. Anything at Town Hall 9 to make a base a little bit harder to three-star uh, is a good thing, in my opinion, because we've seen these uh, these Town Hall 9 attack strategies become very powerful and can fit most bases and three-star them you know, fairly easily, at least in the war community that I'm in, in the wars I see. Maybe not as much for different kind of more casual war clans, but uh, from my perspective, Town Hall 9's gotten a little bit too easy. Not too much, but just a little bit too easy. Um, I guess the grass is always greener to a certain extent. But uh, yeah, finally, guys, just uh, one last thing to add. Um, I'm going to say that the, uh, I was going to do this in the next video, but the reduction for troops and defenses both, uh, as far as time goes, that's going to be something. So that was kind of a bad wording, but we're seeing a reduction to the time and cost of both researching troops in your lab, as well as upgrading defenses. The two weeks was kind of ridiculous, and I think we're everybody's going to be happy to see that go away. Finally, I'll just talk about the clan war balancing because I had I have less stuff in this video than I do in the troop uh, upgrade video, the new troop levels, which will come out soon. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way too. As far as clan war balancing goes, you're going to see a few th changes. Um, one is no penalty for dipping. Uh, basically, if you you know dip down a town hall level below you, you're not going to receive less loot in war. So that's something that's nice. And also on failed attacks too, um, I, I didn't write this down, but I just remembered this. On failed attacks as well, you also get uh, at least some loot, I think, not as much. I, I'm not exactly sure, but you're going to get loot. It's not important the specifics really, but you're going to get more loot even if you fail an attack. So if you get 49%, it's not like, oh, I lost 500,000 of each because, uh, because of that 1%. So don't have to worry about that as much. But honestly, I mean... I guess for a Town Hall like 10 attacking a Town Hall 11 maybe, but usually people get at least one star in most attacks. Anyway though, the last one is there's more XP so your clan can level up a little bit faster. That should be cool to see, but uh, I think that covers it for this video. This was just the defenses along with a few other miscellaneous uh, war things they're adding. My next video I think I'll address the troop levels and I believe we're starting to see uh, just what well, actually just came out 
is some uh, changes to the barracks and the menu of training troops, which is just a quality of life thing. It makes it a little bit uh, easier and less monotonous to farm. So I, I might talk about that in my next video along with all the troop levels. Uh, that should be a fun video to make and have a lot of cool things coming out. So be sure to check that one out. Should be out very soon after this video's up. So be looking for that. Hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below about all these new things we're seeing in the game. Uh, definitely looking forward to the update. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bisect the Toronto.